everyone. I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. I am back at you again with another DIY project and this time we're going to be making a card box and we're going to be doing it with Dollar Tree items. So what you'll need is three of these 11 by 14 frames, okay? You'll need three. I would say get six just in case they break because one of these broke in the car on my way home. So they, they're kind of fragile. So just get six of these just to be on the safe side. This is some construction paper that I've had for a while. And I got this at a really good sale at Joann's. You can use any kind of construction paper you want. Um, they have so many different choices now. It's insane. So uh, the one I'm going to be using says bride, groom, bouquet, rings, wedding. And um, so I think this would be a good look. And I'm also going to be using some of this white sparkly paper um, because this is 12 by 12 and this frame is obviously 11 by 14. So it's going to be a little short. So I want to show you the pattern to this. It's really pretty. This is what it looks like up close. It's very pretty. And again, it says bridegroom, very wedding related. And so I think uh, we're going to go with this. This is also the other paper that I'm going to be using, and it has a very light shimmer to it. Um, but I think that this will work out nicely. And we're also going to be using a piece of glass. So this uh, is a 11 by 14 piece of glass that I got cut, obviously, at Lowe's. So uh, you can go to Lowe's and they will cut you a custom piece of glass in their glass cutting section, okay? And I didn't pay too much. I only paid three dollars for this. All right. So we're going to use this for our fourth frame, and we'll get to that in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and take three of my frames and just kind of remove the paper and the backing and everything out of it. I'm going to set the backing to the side. I'm going to use a very light amount of of glue from this glue stick, and I'm just basically going to measure this out so that I can put this paper inside of the frame. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use all of the shimmering white paper instead. I think I'm just going to use this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this to size and then apply a little bit of light uh, glue stick to it. Okay guys, so we put down our uh, sparkling paper and I've joined these two pieces together because it's not long enough. Again, it's only 12 by 12 and our frame is 11 by 14. So I've taken a short section and I've added it on. And I basically just uh, glued it to the back of the frame. And I did that using my glue stick. And I, earlier I said uh, just a light amount of glue, but I'm sorry, I meant to say put a nice generous amount of glue not so much where it starts to make the paper pucker okay just enough to kind of like make a nice little bond to the back of the frame okay now we want to kind of get rid of the seam because the seam is kind of nasty so we want to kind of get rid of that so what I'm going to do is go to my tried and true diamond wrap I'm just going to use some diamond wrap right here at this bottom seam and I'm going to use some hot glue for this. And then I'm also going to add another piece up to the top so that it looks intentional. Okay. We don't want people to know that we're actually hiding a seam. So this is what each panel should look like. You want to do three of these. Okay. And then we're going to put it inside of our frame. We're wiping our frame out first with a little bit of a microfiber rag just to um, get any dust and stuff out of here. So this is what three of your frames should look like. Alright everyone, so you should have three frames that look like this. And this is gorgeous already. Okay, so that's what your frame should look like. And we're going to set these three to the side because those are going to be our three panels. And our final panel is going to be the mirror. Okay, this is going to be the front of our card box. 
So we're going to take our mirror from Lowe's and we're going to put it right into our frame. This is what it looks like with our mirror inside. So this is going to be gorgeous. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, start taping these mirrors together. So you want to take one panel plus the panel with the mirror and uh, lay it down and get yourself some heavy duty um, tape duct tape and you can get this from the Dollar Tree or you can get the Gorilla Glue black uh, heavy industrial tape from Walmart. You get a little bit more if you get the one from Walmart but you can buy two of these so it really doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to start taping this down and I've done this technique uh, to another box that I had and I think I want to do it long ways. I'm going to lay a section of the tape right down in the middle here and cut it. So I've laid down a piece of black tape. Then I am going to just kind of move it so it gets right in the middle of one of my frames and then take the other mirror or the other panel and then also push this down onto the tape as tightly as I can. And then press down. And then I'm going to trim the excess. Opening up my card box and I'm pressing down to make sure that the tape is nice and secure. And now what we need to do is we need to cover the top and we need to cover the bottom. So we're going to do that by using a piece of foam board from the Dollar Tree. And once again, I've created a template, so this will make it so much easier for me. So I've created the exact size that it needs to be on the top and the exact size that it needs to be on the bottom. And I also included an area where I need to cut for the cards to go through. Alright, so I have these templates available to you guys. I'm doing more templates because it's just easier. And we're going to take the two templates and mount them onto the foam board. So we're going to use some spray mount and I am going to apply my two templates to the uh, foam board. Okay, so we have our bottom that I've cut out and I've just pushed it in there. I haven't applied any tape yet. And then we have our top. So this is our top. So we have our pieces cut out from our foam board. And uh, once you cut it out, it should line up nicely in the, in, in the bottom. And then what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to apply a little bit of um, white duct tape to the bottom. And then I'm really going to put a lot of duct tape on the inside. can see I've applied just four strips of white duct tape to the bottom and I applied it very gently and now I'm going to apply more duct tape inside to secure the bottom.
so this is what our tape looks like on the inside of the box and you can pretty much tape it up however you want now before we put our top on I need to do some embellishing before I go ahead and apply my top and just kind of tape it down so um, I'm going to put a different type of finish on the top and then we're going to cover up the hole with some um, diamond wrap so here is our top we're done and like I said all I basically did was hot glue some uh, diamond wrap right over the front of the hole very simple very easy I didn't think I needed to show you guys that this has been done in several YouTube videos okay so that's basically all you have to do is just put the diamond wrap over the hole and then I also put it inside of the hole too okay inside as well so we have coverage all over and that makes it look even nicer not just on top but the inside as well okay and I did all that using hot glue alright and um, we are not going to cut down our 12 by 12 craft paper that we uh, glued onto the foam board because it fits perfectly right on top just perfect so there's nothing that you need to do as far as cutting it down it fits perfectly and that's what that's looking like it fits perfect okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to add uh, two rolls of diamond wrap into all of the seams okay and that's going to make it look even nicer we're going to cover up the seams by adding the diamond wrap and we're going to do that with our E6000 alright so we're finishing up our corner and basically um, I'm just giving you a close up I'm just putting the glue in here the hot glue and uh, don't worry if you get it outside of where you want it because when it dries up of course you can rub it right off okay or peel it off either one so I'm not particularly worried about how I'm putting the glue down so much because I know I can go back and clean it back up and that's basically all you need to do in the corners is just get a nice generous amount of hot glue in there and then try to center it over the um, the center try to put it in the center if you can I'm going to use this champagne color ribbon uh, and of course this is from the Dollar Tree and it's a champagne shimmering color it's very pretty and it really matches the outside of our frame so I'm going to take this ribbon and and wrap it all the way around the box and um, I'm going to use that with either hot glue or some uh, double sided tape okay everyone so we are done um, I have attached a ribbon at the top a ribbon at the bottom and um, all I'm going to do is just add a little embellishment right here and I think this really takes it over the top and again I've used my double sided industrial strength glue uh, tape excuse me <laughs> to add this brooch to it and um, I think that is just amazing just adding the brooch to it just takes it to a whole other level okay guys so our card box is finished and it is absolutely gorgeous love the way it came out I'm gonna go ahead and show you that you can just stick a card nicely in here this is a nice size even if you did it this way it would still go in so you have more than enough room for cards to go in and um, basically the way you would get the cards out is you would just have to take this top off so it's not adhered like really really well you just have to pull it off at the end of the ceremony to get your cards out once you get home and uh, that's it so I don't know it could possibly be usable again but it's meant for one-time use 
and it's a good security measure because there's no way for anybody to get the cards out of this box unless you take the top off okay you have to dismantle the top in order to get to the cards and that's good because lately you know people have been going to venues and cards have been missing so this is a good way to just secure the whole entire box you can't take it apart till you get home so this is it guys i think it came out absolutely beautiful again i hope you enjoyed this project and as always don't forget to rate and subscribe if you haven't subscribed i hope that you will subscribe to my channel and everyone can follow me on instagram at one hip sister that's it have a great evening and i'll see you in the next diy video Thank you.